How's it going everyone? I'm Eric Rodriguez from Adobe at Arizona and today I'll be going over the essential graphics panel within Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're within a Premiere Pro project, it's as simple as going up to the graphics workspace and as you'll notice your workspace will change and now you have this essential graphics panel over to the right. So the essential graphics panel is great for looking through and creating templates, mainly titles for your projects. You'll notice that there are two tabs up top, Browse and Edit. So if we go into Browse, you'll see that we have all these default templates from Adobe, as well as there's an option to look through Adobe Stock to find even more templates. So to start off, we're gonna take one of these, just drag it onto the timeline. So you'll notice that it acts as a piece of footage. We can go ahead and extend it or shorten it to match whichever time frame you'd want it to. So if we scroll through the timeline, we'll notice that these titles just kind of pop in. And to go in and actually edit each of these titles, we can find them over in the edit panel. Uh, the edit tab basically contains everything from text boxes to effects that are used on these templates. These are all easily editable through this workspace. You'll notice that as we click onto these different titles, the text boxes they're associated to will become editable. So we can go ahead and actually just double click in here and we can now actually change the text on them. So moving forward, you'll notice that as we click into these different titles, there are different tools that appear. And from here, we can go ahead and align and transform our text. So we can align it vertically, align it horizontally. Uh, we can change the scale and positioning. Pretty much every tool that you need to edit this single piece of text here. Moving further on down here, you'll notice that we have the different text tools. So we can left align, right align, change our font, change our font size as well as the color of our text, stroke, and even shadow. So if you notice over to the left, we do have the effect controls open, and you'll notice that these same effects and text boxes are in the effect controls, as long as they have a keyframe associated with them. And from here, we can actually go ahead and manipulate these different keyframes. So these keyframes are completely editable. You can change them to however you'd like from within the effect control panel. So to change these up, we're going to go ahead and open the drop down menu of the text box we'd like to edit. So you notice that all these keyframes are now completely editable. We can go ahead and move these further down into the timeline. We can change the number they have associated to them. Pretty much anything you'd like to change really within the keyframes. So now that we've gone over how to navigate the workspace, why don't we go ahead and build a title here using the essential graphics panel. So I'm going to bring up the title tool. Just click anywhere on screen and we'll just put title in here. Now I'll switch back to the selection tool and just go ahead and make this larger. We'll use the align tools to go ahead and center that. Great. Now I'll select this on the left through my effect controls, open the drop down menu and let's go ahead and keyframe the position so that it slides in from the left over to the center of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and move down the timeline to the two second mark. We're going to go ahead and place a keyframe. Now we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to move this over to the left. We're going to right click on this, go to temporal interpolation and add ease ins to these just to make the animation a bit smoother. Play that back and it's a little too slow for my liking so I'm going to go ahead and move this up just a bit. It's much better. Now I'd like to go ahead and keyframe the opacity for this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle the animation on opacity at the point where this title is already in the position it needs to be. So we'll keep that at 100. We'll go back to the beginning and we'll turn that down just actually all the way to 20 I'll say. Once again, we're going to add ease ins on these keyframes. So great, now I've created a little title animation here. And so let's say I know I'd like to use this title at a different time. Instead of having to go back in here and actually create the whole title all over again, what I can do is select the title on the timeline, right click and go down to export as motion graphics template. We're going to select that 
I know from here we can choose different libraries where we'd like to have this save on our local drive or on our different Adobe libraries here. So I'm just going to keep this on the local templates folder and now we're going to hit OK. So the next time that we're in the essential graphics panel, we'll go into browse and we'll go ahead and search for the title template that we created. So we named it title template. Probably wasn't the best name for it just because there are several <laughs> in here that pop up. But if we scroll down, you'll see that we actually find it on here. So from here, we can just go back and drag that onto our timeline when we want to use that again. So that'll wrap it up for today. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch our tutorial. And if you liked our content, be sure to head over to adobe.arizona.edu for more tutorials and content such as this.